Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kira. Um, it's early. It's like nine something. And today we are doing my hair. Um, this is gonna be like a hair care video or what I do to my hair or what I like to do to my hair. And basically my hair has been blown out for like, I think this is the fourth week. So before I wash it, I'm actually gonna do a um, oil treatment because I feel like when it's um, blown out and stuff, it holds less moisture. I mean, my hair isn't dry or anything. The ends, they were starting to revert back. So they're a little frizzy, I guess. My roots, the weather has changed. So I do have some dandruff all summer. I didn't even struggle with dandruff, but as soon as it got cold outside, I started having dandruff and I'm supposed to get my hair braided in like two weeks. So, I'm hoping if I do like two oil treatments prior, my scalp will last through the braids and I won't have like a flaky scalp with my braids because I hate that. But anywho, let's get started. Um, when I do an oil treatment, I do it when my hair is straight and not well blown out and I do it when it's curly. When it's curly, it's, it's a little different but basically i use every oil i have put it in one bottle and if it's curly i put water in the bottle since it's blown out i'm not gonna put any water it's just gonna be oil and that's it and i am gonna use a hair coloring bottle i put oil in there so the tube can get on my scalp pretty good so let's go over the oils i have um i have tropical roots growth oil which is the oil that I used um, when I had my locks. So you can still use it, of course. We're going with the black castor oil, peppermint oil, cocoa and sweet almond oil, And then lastly, we're doing olive oil. Now, um, this has been the longest I've worn my hair blown out. And through this whole process, olive oil is the only thing I've really been using on my hair. Like when I style it, I don't use any grease or anything. I literally take the olive oil, some, put it all over my hair, and then brush it up into whatever style I'm going to do. So, all right. I'm going to go ahead and get with mixing or we'll get started mixing these and i'll be back when i'm finished all right so i have every oil in here i'm just gonna shake it up um when you're doing your oils just try to do equal parts of every oil um if you want to be precise sometimes the bottles have like the measuring like this one has a little measuring line um but yeah, if you want to be precise and do like literal equal parts, you can do that. But it really doesn't matter. Or you can just put all your oils in and whichever one you had the most of, put the most in. And I'm going to just shake it up. No comment on this thing. But anywho, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this side. Now I'm going to do this side. Actually, I'm starting in the middle where all this dandruff is. And basically, I'm going to do scalp first and then the rest. And I'm going to look in the mirror so I can see what I'm doing, not in the camera. Try to rub it in a little bit so it doesn't drip. And then, okay, uh, when I'm doing this, I like to do like triangles when I'm on my parting. Yeah, dandruff is bad. I'm 
probably going to speed this part up. And we're going to massage this in to the scalp. I'm gonna do the roots first because that's what really needs it and then i'm gonna do the ends and if i run out of oil um i'll just refill it before i do my ends oh all that ran don't get on the lashes Rule number one, don't get oil on your lashes. All right, we're going to go down the middle. Oh, wait, I already did the middle, didn't I? We'll just do it again. All right, now we're going to do the rest of our hair. I think I'm gonna just do two sections. I got my comb in here. Let me step out and get my comb real quick. I'm sorry for this sound. It's the floor. But anywho, this is the comb I like to use. Wide tooth comb. Just combing it through. If the end still feel a little dry, I would say add a little more. And I like to, I like to go make sure the ends. Because you know the ends are the dead parts of your hair. So try to keep those as moisturized as possible. section one two three y'all remember that um tootsie roll pop commercial with the owl i don't know why i used to love that uh commercial i think it was like the old school feel of it i don't know i don't even know why that just came to my mind but anywho combing that through Smells amazing, by the way. All right, we're gonna do this side. And y'all, my roots aren't dyed because I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna let the color grow out and just go back to my natural color and natural texture because you know bleaching kind of changed the texture which i kind of do like because it makes it a little more manageable the curls aren't so tight i guess well they're still tight i can't explain it it's just easier to do so i'm trying to decide am i going to continue the bleaching and the coloring which i only had i've only bleached my hair once so I'm trying to decide, am I going to, like, I love the colors. Am I going to stick with the colors? Just let it grow out and just have my ends colored. I don't know. 
I just want my hair as healthy as possible and to grow as long as possible. And I don't really want to do anything to get in the way of that. And honestly, my hair is still growing. My hair is still healthy. But each time you bleach it and color it, um, you know, you could be taking a chance. It damages it each time. Some damage isn't as drastic as others. But I don't know. And I know my mom, she's the one that colors my hair. She's always like, let me do the roots, let me do the roots so it'll look perfection. I mean, like perfection and all this other stuff. But I'm just like, no, 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 no. It doesn't look bad, especially with the darker colors. It kind of like blends into it. So, I don't know. The longer it gets, probably worse it will get or something. But then I could just ombre it. Mm. I changed my hair so much. No telling. Alright. I'm going to twist this up. I like to twist it because it incubates it. And I was going to sit under this uh, hoodie dryer. But that's downstairs. <clears throat> that's downstairs. And I'm not bringing that heavy thing up here all right so that's that and we're just gonna put a plastic bag over it i don't want to be doing my hair all day so maybe 15 maybe i'll just leave this on here 30 to 45 minutes and then i'll be back all right guys i am back i feel like my lighting is off but i can't remember what i had my what setting i had my ring light on so we're just gonna continue so i'm gonna remove the bag we are going to wash my hair i'm gonna wash it in cool water semi-cold water so my color doesn't fade and then this is the shampoo i use miel all my products I use past the oils is going to be Miel. So this is Miel's mint, wait, rosemary mint strengthening shampoo. I'm not going to use a lot because shampoo, uh, it cleanses and cleansing can cleanse away the oils. Cleansing away the oils can cleanse away the moisture, if that makes sense. So I'm probably going to use like maybe a quarter amount on both sides that sounds like a lot i don't know but let me wash this out and then just a quick side note when i'm done washing it you're gonna see my towel looking like this and it looks like it is from a freaking car dealership and has oil on it but no this is colors we dye our hair frequently in this house so we have certain towels just for coloring hair so we don't ruin the good towels but i don't even know why i bought that up <laughs> let me wash this out all right guys i am back my hair is washed i don't know like my curly girls out there it's so satisfying when you get your hair blown out or straightened i haven't got my straight hair straightened in a couple of years but for it to revert back it's so satisfying because whenever you put any heat on your hair you don't know if you're gonna get this revert back but anywho so i was talking to my mother and i was trying to decide do i want to continue with my middle part or do a side part she said the middle part is boring try something new you won't know if it don't work until you try it so we're gonna try a side part. I don't know how I'm gonna like this, but we're gonna try it. And I don't know, I was re I was watching another YouTuber. I think I was watching Jayla Majette. And she said something about having her part in the center all the time, how it breaks your hair off, which I think I noticed that when it was blown out. So we're gonna change the part up 
I think it'll look nice with the blue cascading over the burgundy, but we'll see. Um, I'm gonna start with this side first. I always start with this side first, and if this side dries out, I'll add a little moisture with a spray bottle or something. Um, but so I'm gonna put this side up with, I don't know what this clip is called. Is this a banana clip? No, banana clip is the big one. I don't know what this is called, but we're gonna clip that up. We're gonna start here. I'm going to clip the front portion as well. All right, all right. And then, first thing we're going to do is go in with our Miel Leave In Conditioner, Pomegranate and Honey moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick curly type 4 hair y'all i don't really know my hair type because i swear i have like four hair types i might be exaggerating with the four but it's a couple in there so i'm gonna get a smaller section and then I'm going to try to use this tiny clip and clip this. Surprise that worked. And then we are going in, well first, we're going to put this meal. I think I'm almost out. But luckily, I got two bottles and this one's completely full. All right. I feel like it's some in here, but I'm not going to fight this bottle. I'm going to just go in with this newer bottle. Alright. We're going to go down the hair shaft like this. And if your ends feel dry, focus majority of it on your ends. You can come through with your fingers. But then I'm going to take, this brush is dirty. Do not judge me. Um, I didn't clean it out. Some burgundy hair in there, but that's okay. I'm going in with the Michelle Mercier by Camp Look. I don't know. I probably, I'm pretty sure I said that all wrong. But this is my favorite detangling brush ever. It actually detangles my hair. I have another one, the one that's like a brush, but it's sliced up or something. I can't explain it. I'll show you. All right, you see how this is going through so easily? That's what you want. But I forgot my gel, so let me go get that real quick. This is the gel that I use, Extreme. I don't think this got alcohol in it. That's I seen somebody, um, yes, no alcohol. So, ladies, ain't no alcohol in this. Save your image, I say your image. Save your edges. Save the integrity of your hair. Get products with no alcohol. Thank me later. But anywho, after you do the leave-in, Oh my goodness. Wait, after you do the leave-in, I was about to forget a product. After I use my Miel leave-in, I use my Miel Coil Custard, wait, Coil Sculpt, Coil Sculpting Custard. I'm pro I promise you I'm not literate. I don't know my tongue. I got a lazy tongue sometimes, so my words get cut off and it just don't want to participate with me. So yeah. After the leave-in conditioner, we're going to go in with this. And don't mind that white part. I think it's some leave-in conditioner in there. Don't give me the lie in. But this is what it looks like. This is the consistency. And probably going in with like this much. Right. 
this can get messy, honestly, with all the products and the color and the products going everywhere. And then I'm going to dip in to this. Try to get those roots too, because you don't want your roots to be frizzy and everything else is nice and curly. And then I'm going to rake through it with my fingers. I don't know if I use enough gel. Hmm. I'm going to leave it at that because that's not a big section. All right. I'm going to continue the rest of my head. I'm probably going to speed this up. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Conditioner. And you know the last video I sped up, I don't feel like I could speed it up quick enough. Or is that my imagination? I don't know, but let me do my hair, y'all. And I'll just let y'all watch me. All right, y'all, I'm back. This side is done. I'm gonna start on the blue side, but I'm gonna part it where I want my part to be first. And I did, I know I said I was gonna speed it up. I probably still will speed it up, but I had to take a little music break. Um, Jalamin, I said Jalamin. Lord, one day I'm gonna learn how to talk English. Um, Jasmine Sullivan's, um, she put out her new album. And it's amazing. It's called Hotels. Ladies, listen to it. Gents, you can listen to it too. But she really did it for the ladies. And I really, really like it. Um, and yes, the name is Hotels. But it's not like the hotel you go to and stay in. It's like Hotels. T-A-L-E-S. Yes. Just by the name, you know it's going to be something amazing. I think I'm going to do this portion first and then work my way down. But this is my part. I think I want it like that. We'll see. What do I want? Some of the, like, do I want more hair on that side too? Let's see. Got a little build up on my scalp. I'll put some oil right there. I think I might want a zigzag motion. Kinda. We'll go with that and see how it turns out. I'm going to pin this back up. My stomach is growling, y'all. I ain't ate breakfast. 
I was like, I need to do my hair today. It's been four weeks, and why not record it? Y'all, look how long my hair is. I can't even get in frame the way I got this set up. All right, and that was the floor. Um, we're going to get started on this side. All right, y'all, I am back, and this is where I'm at. I am going to shake this real quick. And I just think when you shake it, it kind of, I can't even explain it. Somehow it defines the curves. All right. So what I am going to do is go in with my handy dandy edge brush, get these edges. I don't know if I want this behind my ear or not. That's a lot of hair to go behind my ear. But I'm gonna just tighten these edges up. I'm gonna go in with that same extreme gel. It's gonna smooth this down first get this side right here too y'all but a hairstyle without the baby hairs is an incomplete hairstyle like comparing it back to makeup the edges would be the highlight or the bronzer of your makeup look now we either gonna do the edges under here even though they ain't gonna be seen but i'm still doing You know, one time when I was at work, <laughs> you know, never mind, I'm not going to bring this up. But basically, you know, some people like to hate when we got our edges done. But then I, y'all, take a really good look at the females hating on y'all edges and just see. Do they, are their edges still intact? Do they even have edges? So ask yourself, are they hating because they don't have edges? Or it could just be a preference thing. But honestly, when it's preference, it's just like, I, I don't do that. And it's like, you don't need to comment on what everybody else is doing because you don't do it. But when you don't do it because you don't have edges to do it 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 becomes hating so if you find yourself hating on somebody's edges well talking on somebody's edges look in the mirror and see if you still have some because if you don't have them you probably just hating all right <laughs> i'm done with that little rant but yeah I'm passionate about my edges and how I like to have them laid. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. But everything ain't for everybody. And everybody don't need an opinion, well, to give their opinion on everything. But I know me. I'm going to be laying my edges. Like, I know, like, when I have my funeral... I'm a, if I don't get cremated, which I don't like to talk about stuff like that, but like most definitely refer back to this video. I want my edges laid in the casket. But anywho, I 
think that's good enough. I'm gonna give it one more shake. And I'm trying, I'm gonna try not to sit under the dryer because I like the way it looks air dried better than drying. Like I know going under the dryer, it kind of stretches your hair, but it also makes your curls look, not, I don't know. I don't like the way it make your curls look. So I'm gonna air dry. And maybe I'll sit in the dryer at the very end, I don't know. But I ain't got to go out until later on this evening. So I got plenty of time um, for this to dry. And then I'm gonna come back when I'm completely, when my hair is dry and I'm made up and ready to go out because I do got plans tonight. Anywho, I will see y'all later on in this video with the finished product. All right, y'all, I'm back some hours later and this is a finished product. Of course, with a wash and go, it will grow each day, look better each day. The first day is never the best day, but this is what we looking like. Yep. It's cute. I don't know about this part. Mommy said it's cute, so I'll go with that. But anywho. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hold on. Hopefully that's not attached to my head. Oh, it is attached. Okay, anywho, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe. You can leave a comment with something else you want to see or show, want me to show you how to do. Um, give me some video ideas. Yeah. Oh, follow me on Instagram, Rum Roses, R U M underscore Roses underscore. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here.